Hey, what's going on guys? And thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Okay, so what we're gonna work on today is gonna be very, hopefully, easy. This is my first time that I'm gonna be doing this. We're gonna go ahead and replace the transmission oil filter on the 05 Mercedes ML500. Now, the issues that I was having, that I'm actually currently having with this vehicle is that one time when I was driving it, um, maybe a good five miles away, the transmission started to kind of slip. Well, basically what I mean by that is that when you're accelerating, all of a sudden the RPM started going from 2000 up to 3000, kind of like that, and uh, it wasn't getting any power. So I quickly let go off the gas and then I repressed it again, and then it kind of acted like it picked up the gear again. So uh, I'm really hoping that uh, my transmission is not going out that is actually one of the symptoms of a transmission kind of going out but what i'm going to go ahead and do today the first step is basically i'm just going to replace the oil maybe it might be that um it's low on oil i'm not going to take any chances i want to i went to buy the transmission oil filter and the gasket they come together and then of course i purchased some um some valvoline atf transmission oil as you can see and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and mount the truck up the Rhino ramps that I purchased a long time ago. They come very much in handy, so I do recommend you guys purchasing some Rhino ramps. Now I'm gonna have a lot of the items that I that I purchased that I'm using down on my the description box. So go ahead and click on the links below to uh, purchase those items that I'm using. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. And, all right, so let's go ahead and get this car started and let's back it up so we can go ahead and put the Rhino ramps in the front. All right, now that we're underneath the car, we're gonna go ahead and check out the transmission uh, pan. It is located right over me right here and there you go figure this out and see how many screws we're going to be working with now there's one right here there's two three four five and six now the tools that we're going to be using will be obviously the oil pan a wrench with a t30 socket transmission oil Valvoline Max Life ATF Synthetic, some brake cleaner to clean the pan, a funnel. All right, now that we're underneath, we're gonna go ahead and remove the pan. But first, we're gonna just loosen out the six bolts. It's gonna start dripping oil, and that's where you wanna have your pan right underneath. So before you get started, make sure you have your pan underneath to catch the oil. Be very careful that you don't strip these bolts because they are going to be a pain to get out if you were to strip them. Okay, now I think I'm gonna remove the middle ones first. And you notice, you notice that the screw is screwed is inside this little template and that is what holds that is what holds your pan in place so out of six of them five of them had the little plate and the other one didn't now all six bolts are out so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and and, and start wiggling it from the bottom to the top okay now you can see the drips are coming out that means that the pan is coming loose but I still have oh let me tell you the oil is dark So I'm letting it go from the bottom 
very slowly. Alright, that seems to be good. That was just one of the plates that fell off. There's a hose kind of in the way. It smells like burnt oil. Okay, there you go. Hands off. Okay, so here's a closer look at the transmission with the transmission pan and the gasket out. Transmission filter is going to go right in that hole. Okay, now that the transmission's out, I also purchased some lube guard synthetic ATF protectant that we're going to be adding into the transmission um, down through the transmission line. And then, of course, here is the view of the pan. The gasket that we're using is a Duralast. Gasket and fuel filter and transmission filter. Part number. Number 178. So that comes with its gasket and the transmission filter. Here's the transmission filter, the transmission gasket. First we're going to go ahead and clean this pan. We're going to use our brake cleaner to clean the pan. And This part was inside the pan, and I honestly have no idea where it is, what it is or where it goes. If you guys know, comment down below and let me know. But that is like a gunky gray material, and I don't think that's a good sign. So let me know what that is. I'm actually gonna do some research on it and see what why. It, what causes the oil to go gray? Or is it just me? I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. I think I know. This is a magnetic uh, little piece that goes inside the oil pan, the transmission pan, and this collects little chunks of metal that maybe have broken off inside your transmission. So I think that's what this is. If I'm wrong, let me know. If I'm right, let me know. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do some research on it. But as you can see, if I have, if I bring my pan, um, I haven't done this yet, but I'm, I'm sure it's gonna stick. There you go. So yeah, I think this is a magnet, a magnet that will be attracting metal pieces that have maybe broken off from your transmission and it was just sitting there. So I'm still gonna go ahead and clean everything. I'm gonna put that where we found it. Now we're gonna go ahead and put our gasket. There's only one way to go. There you go. We're gonna set our oil filter very carefully, making sure that it does not fall. So this will be setting up right there. Okay. We're gonna move the transmission line out of the way, like so. It's just gonna go up very easily and now we start screwing in.
I think we're done right here. Pan is up. All six screws are nicely tight. Again, not too tight, just a nice little hand tight. And the magnetic little piece is inside. The uh, transmission filter, we put it correctly. We installed it in. So now let's go up and we're gonna start putting in the oil into the transmission. All right, so your transmission dipstick should be right there, right next to the air intake. So you pop that out and you're gonna need a funnel. And this is where we're gonna be pouring in the transmission oil. Okay, so what we purchased was Lube Guard Synthetic Protectant, and this is a 10 ounce bottle. Unfortunately, I made a mess down there because I like I said I pulled it and it just oil went everywhere So I'm gonna go ahead and clean that but other than that it was a very easy replacement We put the truck up on the rhino ramps. It took about six screws to get the pan off We went very slowly and not to make a mess But it was very simple on the scale of 1 to 10 and how hard this is. It's really a 3 it's very very simple anyone could do this so other than that thank you guys for tuning into this channel i hope this video really helped you guys out and you guys can really help me out by just hitting that subscribe button it's very simple i'm going to be uploading more videos of course working on the ml500 along with the audi and the chevy cruise and of course like i said our goal is to buy a co part cart and and fix that car up so fingers crossed we could get this done like i said i need you guys to help me out obviously to get to that goal you guys got to do is subscribe, hit that like, and share this video, and I hope that my videos are very helpful for you guys. So thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you.